This is item number 50 for the released spring 2014 um, end of course test for Algebra 1 in Tennessee. Now, the question says the graph shows the number of males and females enrolled in the 10th grade at a high school during the years 2001 through 2006. I'm going to be honest, a lot of these types of problems I tend to like more than the ones I just had to do a bunch of calculation. I don't know why, it's just, I just like them better. Whatever. So which statement is best supported by these data in the graph? The number of females increased each year from 2003 to 2006. Well, females are the darker of the two, and that's an increase, but that is not. That is a decrease, and it's actually almost the same as this, so overall it's not even an increase at that point. I mean, generally as it, it does, but it says that it increases each year. It does not. B, the combined number of females and males was greatest in 2002. So in order to do this, you're going to need to do a little bit of combinations of likely suspects. 2013 or 2003 is not more than 2002, so that's out. 2004 is not looking great because if these are the same height and this is just a little bit more, no. 2005, probably not. So I'm going to look at these two sort of as a comparison state. Actually, I won't because the taller one doesn't even make it to here, and the shorter one is shorter as well. So I'm really just doing a comparison between these two. So I've got 200 females and 350 males. I get 550 there. This is 2001. On the other side of it, I have uh, 250 females and let's say 325 males here. 7, 575. So total population in 2002 is the greatest. So B is looking like a pretty good answer here. Let's look at the other two just in case. The number of males decreased by more than 50 each year from 2001 to 2006. So they are decreasing, but all I need to do is find one that doesn't decrease by 50, and they pretty much none of them do. This is 350, and it goes down to 325, down to 300, down to 275, down to 250, down to 225. But they never do it. But they never decrease by 50 ever. So or more than 50. The combined number of females and males was greater than 500 each year. So all I need to do is find my smallest stack, which is like right in here. And I've got 250 and 225. So that reeks of 475 to me. So nope. That's out. So the answer is B. So just go through and look at them. It helps if you split things up into quarters. So you know that since this is 200 and this is 300, the halfway point would be 350 or 250. And if you forget, just think about having quarters. Having two quarters would be $2.50. And then between there, you'd have one quarter, which is 225. So you'd be breaking them off into groups of 25. And once you do that, pretty simple question. So I tend to like these more because you can go through all the answers and come up with a conclusion. And that's kind of what math is about, really, using your data to uh, analyze results and maybe use that information for something.